Correlational Research Design Meaning and Key Concepts Correlational research design occupies a unique place in the realm of scientific inquiry, offering a lens through which researchers can examine relationships between variables. Unlike experimental designs that manipulate variables to establish causation, correlational research seeks to identify and describe patterns of association that naturally occur. This video lecture delves into the essence, methodologies, applications, and challenges of correlational research design, unraveling its significance in advancing knowledge and understanding complex phenomena. The story of correlational research begins with a simple yet profound question. Are these variables related? Researchers might ask, for instance, is there a link between physical activity and mental health? Or, how do income levels correlate with educational attainment? Such questions guide the inquiry, focusing on the nature and strength of relationships without altering the variables involved. Correlational research is grounded in observation and measurement. Researchers collect data on two or more variables and analyze the extent to which they are associated. The strength and direction of these associations are quantified using statistical measures such as the correlation coefficient, denoted as R. This coefficient ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, where values close to minus 1 indicate a strong negative relationship, values close to plus 1 suggest a strong positive relationship, and values near 0 imply little or no relationship. Imagine a study investigating the relationship between screen time and academic performance among high school students. By gathering data on the number of hours students spend on screens daily and their corresponding grades, researchers can calculate the correlation coefficient. A negative value might reveal that increased screen time is associated with lower academic performance, while a positive value could suggest the opposite. One of the hallmarks of correlational research is its versatility. It accommodates various types of variables and data collection methods, making it suitable for diverse fields and contexts. Surveys, observational studies, and archival data analysis are common approaches used to gather information in correlational studies. For instance, a researcher exploring the relationship between job satisfaction and employee turnover might use surveys to measure satisfaction levels and HR records to track turnover rates. Correlational research is particularly valuable when experimentation is impractical, unethical, or impossible. Consider the relationship between smoking and lung cancer. Ethical considerations prevent researchers from assigning participants to smoke for experimental purposes. However, correlational research allows scientists to examine existing data and identify strong associations that have informed public health policies worldwide. The applications of correlational research extend across disciplines, contributing to a richer understanding of human behavior societal trends, and natural phenomena. In psychology, correlational studies have uncovered relationships between personality traits and mental health outcomes, shedding light on the complexities of human behavior. In education, they have highlighted connections between teaching methods and student engagement, informing pedagogical practices. In economics, they have revealed patterns between economic indicators, guiding policy decisions. For example, a correlational study might examine the link between exercise frequency and levels of happiness. Researchers could use questionnaires to assess participants' exercise habits and self-reported happiness. If a positive correlation is found, 
it might suggest that individuals who exercise more tend to be happier. Such findings can inspire further exploration, prompting researchers to investigate potential mechanisms or design interventions based on the observed relationship. Despite its strengths, correlational research design is not without limitations. One of the most significant challenges is the inability to establish causation. A well-known adage in research states, correlation does not imply causation. While two variables may be correlated, this relationship does not necessarily mean that one causes the other. For instance, a positive correlation between ice cream sales and crime rates might exist, but this is likely due to a third variable, such as higher temperatures, influencing both factors. The potential for confounding variables, that is factors that influence both variables of interest, is another limitation of correlational research. These variables can obscure the true nature of the relationship, leading to spurious correlations. Researchers must exercise caution and consider alternative explanations when interpreting findings, using statistical techniques, or additional studies to account for confounding factors. Bias is another challenge in correlational research. Self-report measures, often used in surveys, can be affected by social desirability bias, where participants provide responses they believe are more acceptable or favorable. Similarly, observational studies can be influenced by researcher bias or the Hawthorne effect, where participants alter their behavior because they are aware of being observed. Ensuring the reliability and validity of data collection instruments is crucial to mitigating these issues. Ethical considerations also play a vital role in correlational research. Researchers must prioritize informed consent, confidentiality, and respect for participants' autonomy. When using archival data, they must navigate issues of privacy and data security, ensuring compliance with ethical standards and regulations. The interpretative process in correlational research requires a balance of rigor and humility. Researchers must analyze and report their findings transparently, acknowledging limitations and avoiding overgeneralizations. They must also recognize the provisional nature of their conclusions, understanding that correlations often serve as starting points for deeper inquiry rather than definitive answers. The impact of correlational research is far-reaching, shaping theory, practice, and policy across domains. By identifying relationships between variables, it generates hypotheses for experimental research and informs decision-making in real-world settings. For instance, correlational studies linking sedentary behavior to health risks have spurred public health campaigns promoting physical activity. In education, correlations between parental involvement and student achievement have guided initiatives to strengthen family school partnerships. Consider a correlational study examining the relationship between social media use and feelings of loneliness. By identifying a negative correlation, researchers can highlight potential risks associated with excessive social media use. While the study does not establish causation, it raises important questions about the role of technology in shaping social connections and mental health, guiding further research and interventions. As we reflect on the narrative of correlational research design, it becomes evident that this methodology is both a tool and a journey. It equips researchers with the means to uncover patterns and relationships that deepen our understanding of the world. At the same time, 
It invites them to navigate the complexities and nuances of human experience with curiosity, care, and critical thinking. Correlational research is a testament to the interconnectedness of variables and the intricate web of influences that shape our lives. By exploring these connections, researchers contribute to a richer, more nuanced understanding of the phenomena that define our existence. Whether examining the links between environmental factors and health outcomes, economic trends and societal well-being, or cultural practices and individual behaviors, correlational research offers a window into the relationships that underpin our world. In conclusion, Correlational research design is a powerful and versatile approach that bridges the gap between observation and experimentation. It empowers researchers to identify and describe relationships, generating insights that inform theory, practice, and policy. While it has limitations, its strengths lie in its ability to illuminate patterns and inspire further inquiry. As researchers continue to explore the relationships that define our world, correlational research remains an indispensable tool in the quest for knowledge and understanding.